Boggy the Clown debuted on OPTC Global on the 7th of April 2017. This was a solo release Sugo Fest exclusive with no accompanying Rebecca characters. A unique Sugo Fest exclusive that further enhanced the usability of the mechanic of dupe dropping. Prior to the release of Buggy, there had been a few characters that utilized this dupe dropping mechanic, and these characters are such as Baccarat, the Grand Tesoro Concierge, Swift Saber Haruta, as well as the Fortnite character Wicker. However, with the release of this brand new Sugo Fest exclusive character, we no longer had to pray for the dupe dropping to occur, as now it was guaranteed to happen. His special allowed this character to be the crew's dedicated attack booster, which was a slight help wherever players would decide to use this character in content. Introducing Buggy the Clown. In this series, we'll be traveling back in time to experience some of the older Sugo Fest exclusive characters in their prime, aiming to show just what it was like to use these characters on their debut. I hope you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's enter the Legends of OPTC. So thank you very much for checking out yet another episode of the Legends of OPTC and today we're really covering a bit of an interesting legend and uh, it's been it's been a little bit of a process figuring out what I wanted to do with this video today. But today we're going to be covering Legend Buggy. Now Legend Buggy is a pretty substantial release as when he first came out a lot of people just wanted to get their hands on him because of his very unique abilities that no other character in the game had, to an extent, as we can have a brief look at some of these other characters that shared some traits that Buggy had that made these characters very useful upon release. But of course, in today's day and age, Buggy really isn't even used that much anymore. Personally, I don't really need to use Buggy anymore, aside from like the Kizuna quests that come out. Aside from that, Buggy doesn't really see that much play. Personally, if you're a beginner or a mid-level account, Buggy probably is still a substantial unit that you use almost on a daily basis, right? So let's jump into these characters first to talk about this unique mechanic that some of these units had. So first is this Fortnite Barkerot that came out, and she had this really unique ability in her captain that would give a chance of duplicating a drop upon completing an island. Uh, I believe the chance was like a 50-50 chance of duplicating something at random and you know 1.2 times attack so pretty bad of course these characters that have dupe dropping abilities typically have terrible captain effects alongside it so then there was Haruta which came out with the Aokiji batch which we've already made a video on so Haruta was slightly better in the fact that the captain ability of this character would give a 1.75 times attack boost to slasher and cerebral and then a 50% chance of dupe dropping something at the end of the quest and even see with limit break expansion goes to a 3x attack boost and then a 50% chance of, uh, of dupe dropping something. So, you know, this was a little bit better. Definitely the more desirable unit to use as your dupe dropping captain. And then another free to play unit came out, Wicker, who also had the ability to give a chance of dupe dropping something, but obviously had no attack boost alongside it. So this character wasn't really used that much, but considering the fact that Barkerup was like a movie uh, Fortnite event that came out, not a lot of people would have had the opportunity to get this unit because once this event left, like this character didn't come out for a really long time after that. Um, but then like Haruta, if you didn't have this character either, you had access to Wicker at least, okay? But then we get to our man, Captain Buggy. So Captain Buggy, an int-driven shooter character. So Buggy's captain ability would boost the attack of characters with 40 cost or less by 1.5 times, but then he would reduce the HP and attack of characters with a 41 cost or greater by 0.5 times, but guarantees duplicating a drop upon completion of an island. So this is interesting is that you basically build a team around 40 cost or less. He himself is 40 cost, so you can use him as the unit. This was like one of the only characters or one of the only legends that we had seen that had an altered cost amount. Uh, the only other character that had this was Sengoku at the time, who had like a 54 cost, and that was because of the way that character was built. And they did the same thing here of a 40 cost unit to this character. And yeah, it is a guaranteed duplication of anything upon completing a quest. Unfortunately, you can't select the thing that gets duplicated if that was if that was the case that would be absolutely amazing and that would be something really interesting that they could maybe do in today's day and age but honestly uh you know obviously this character on release was was just interesting in the fact that you know it's it's a guaranteed dupe drop a lot better than Barkerat 
Karuta Wicker that we had already seen previously. Buggy's special ability would be on a 12 turn cooldown and randomizes all slots and then boost the attack of characters with 40 cost or less by 1.75 times for two turns. So he is his crew's dedicated attack booster. Unfortunately, the special ability is just a full randomization of your slots. He doesn't get rid of block slots and he doesn't keep the ones that are already matching. Sometimes characters that randomize slots will specifically say unless they're matching. But in this case here, even if you had matching slots, Buggy would still shuffle them around. So meaning you would still have to use orb manipulation after the fact to ensure that you do get matching slots that you want to get. But you know, 40 cost or less by 1.75 obviously worked for him as a captain, but he didn't really see that much play as a crewmate either, because in a lot of times, the best characters in the game are characters that are 40 cost or higher. You got characters like the Legends and the Clashes at the time, right? So those characters were very powerful and you really couldn't use them in this team. I mean, you, you could just for their abilities, because, you know, characters like Raid Doflamingo were still substantially powerful in almost any team, providing a two times orb boost for your characters. So you could still use him on the team. You'd still get the boost from Doflamingo, but Doflamingo himself as a character would not receive this attack boost or the attack boost from the captain ability. So, you know, th there's trade-offs with this character, but I think they made it in such a way because it's buggy. He's a bit of a joke character, as we already know. And, you know, duplicating an additional item at the end of a quest back then was considered to be extremely overpowered. So that's the rundown of buggy. Obviously a bit of a joke unit, but really interested to go ahead and use him in today's video. And the rate up characters are CP9 and Blackbeard Pirate characters. So we're going to get straight into it, guys. Good luck to all you guys out there that are doing pulls. We can see the chat's going absolutely mental right now. Let's get straight into it. Straight into the multi-pull. Now, the special thing about this Sugarfest is, is that the 11th pull in a multi-pull is a 10 times rate up for Legend Buggy. So that is absolutely crazy. Let's get straight into it, guys. Ah, oh, I, I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect. Oh my god! We got, oh, we got Buggy! We got Buggy! We got buggy! It has the plus! We got buggy! We got buggy! We got him! Oh my god! We got him! Holy shit! Oh! Holy crap! We're back in game now with my man Captain Buggy, captain of the Buggy Pirates of course. He joined in the Paramount War after a stint in Impel Down. After making it out alive, he regrouped with the Buggy Pirates accompanied by the prisoners who helped him out of jail. The influx of new recruits made the crew a major group large enough for the government to send them a certain missive. So this is awesome. We have my man Captain Buggy in here, no limit break, plus 100 attack, plus 100 HP, max special level, good to go for the content today. Now, you guys may have seen that there was no spin the wheel today. That's because it's Captain Buggy. We're not going to be going ahead and, you know, challenging any crazy content, but today we're going to be taking on a, a little bit of an easier piece of content and just see how this guy performs in it. So we are going to be going ahead and taking on Clash Mihawk. So this team here is basically focused around uh, speed farming in terms of using Kinemon to uh, using Kinemon and the sugar, of course, to reduce our character's cooldowns. And then when we reach the final boss stage, we can health cut with Duval as well as reduce the damage that we would take, as well as going ahead and using Sabo special, which is going to be super useful. And when Buggy first came out, Sabo was considered to be one of the best units to use with Buggy. So despite the fact Sabo had a really high cost, didn't really get a lot of use out of the, the damage that Buggy would typically provide but the special ability of Sabo was what made him very useful in not only buggy teams but zombie teams and in a lot of teams moving forward into like the like the next couple of months his special was so good just added a lot of additional damage to your to your crew considering normal attacks only wasn't really a thing back then so characters like Sabo adding tap timing bonus damage was very very valuable so without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the content today. So let's go ahead and choose our friend captain today. We have our man, Lord Shiro. Shout out to my girl, Carissa, who had hers ready as well. But uh, let's go ahead and use Lord Shiro's. Here we go. Let's jump into it. Captain Buggy against Clash Mihawk. 40 stamina difficulty. Very excited to see how this one goes. It's been a long time since we've taken on Clash Mihawk. The last time we did take it on, though, was the very first episode of the Legends of OPTC series utilizing Legend Whitebeard. So it's exciting to jump back into some old content with Buggy 
and hopefully get some dupe drops today. We're hoping for some dupe drops. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. And here we are, Clash Me Hawk killing time with our man Captain Buggy. Just look at that little animation that Buggy plays every time. Dude, I love that. He circles around. Oh, it's so good. Right, so uh, first order of action is going to be uh, getting our cooldown reduced as soon as we possibly can. So we do have the specials of both Kinemon and Sugar. So Sugar only targets one character on our team and reduces their cooldown. The thing is, I wanted to use characters that were only available up until Buggy's release, and these characters were all available. We had Colosseum, Kinemon, uh, Halloween Sugar had recently come out prior to, and we also had Duval and also Raid Sabo. So very, very excited to jump into this one. So let's go ahead and get a bit of stall on first. Now remember, Buggy is only providing us with a 1.5 times attack boost. We don't have a lot of health, and the enemy does have a pretty annoying preemptive attack where he does some damage to us. So we actually don't want to stall that much in the first place. So getting uh, all that cooldown reduction is going to be important. At least at the stage after this, we will actually get access to to those turtles gives us a pretty good amount of stall so let's move on here and now we can start activating some special abilities so i think first thing is first we're going to use the sugar special and that's going to go ahead and allow us to just reduce the cooldown of one of our characters i think i'm going to choose duval because his cooldown is the highest and then we can use kinemon which does reduce the cooldown of free spirit and slasher characters and you know he does have double special activation but you know back when he first came out he wouldn't have double special activation so i'm not going to activate it uh, until you know sugar is maxed again so just keep that in mind i'm not going to do that so we will go ahead and get some stall off though because we do need to make sure that sabo and duval are ready for the final boss fight and uh, we probably don't have to stall that much, actually, because of these cooldown reducing units that we actually have here. We don't really want to take damage from these turtles, so I guess we can do a little bit of damage to them. Move on to this one. And now Sugar is going to be ready next turn. I mean, this is going to be a very, very quick playthrough, but let's see how we go. Alright, so Sugar is ready now. So I will use Sugar on Duval. And then we can go ahead and move on. And we can use Kinemon in the next turn. And also having Duval on our team is going to be very good for stage 4. And I'll say why when we get there. Because it's you might not understand at the moment. But you guys will know why he's going to be useful. Um, we can get that recovery slot there. Which I actually am going to pick up. I'm going to get that recovery slot. And we'll go ahead and kill the penguin. This is going quite swimmingly. This is going very, very well. All right, let's go ahead and use the Kinemon special, which is going to give us the cooldown reduction. We probably should have kept that just in case we wanted some more matching slots. But this is why it's going to be useful because Duval has such a high combo hit. He automatically kills the seahorse. And all of these guys only have a four hit combo, so we can just hit it naturally and not have to worry about, you know, outputting enough damage to ensure that we're killing because four hit combo is all you need in order to kill these guys. Very, very simple. But we have reached the final boss stage versus Mihawk, and this is where the party gets started. So Mihawk is going to go ahead and do his dagger strike is like 4,000. Yeah, it's like nearly 4,000 damage. Let's use the Duval special ability here, which is going to cut the enemy's health by 20% and also give us a 50% damage reduction for one turn. And now we can use the Sabo special. So Sabo is going to provide us with a bit of damage upon activation, but he gives us tap timing bonus damage for two turns. And that's going to be super, super useful. Uh, we can also get some cooldown reduction here. Let's actually do that for Kinemon because getting some slots back would be good. We can actually use the buggy special as well. Why not, right? Let's go ahead and just, uh, you know, in increase our attack. And the buggy cart, dude. Actually, it's, it's been a long time since I've seen that special animation. That's crazy, dude. All right. So with all that being said, let's see how much damage output we can do. Let's get it. Oh, I didn't want to get in below 20% because I think we probably would have died. Okay, I think we're good now. So we can just attack and kill, right? Let's go, Buggy. Getting the job done. But that's not it. We need to see what we dupe drop. Because if we didn't dupe drop anything that good, we're going to run it back and we're going to do it again, okay? We want to make sure that we're actually getting good dupe drops here, okay? So we want to hope and get double Mihawk drop. That's what we're looking for. It's going to be hard, though, considering five drops. Okay, we unfortunately didn't get any Mihawk double drops. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it back, and we're going to try and get our hands on some more Mihawk dupe drops. Let's get it. All right, can we potentially get it this time? Yo, we got the double Mihawk drop on the second go, bro. Oh, my God. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, that's pretty good. Let's get it. That's what the power of Buggy 
is all about. Yo, dude, that's so good. So with all that, guys, that is going to conclude yet another episode of the Legends of OPTC. So this video was a little bit of a fun one, but next week we're going to get back into it because we have the release of the first Legend Zoro character. A very, very powerful legend on release. Very much looking forward to next week's episode. It's going to be a bunch of fun. Definitely stay tuned for next week when we upload that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today though. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.